Looking back at the government's actions throughout the crisis, um, it's interesting to um, bring um, the comparison in terms of um, switch to capitalism. And I think uh, Russia has not resorted to the means of taking over and, and enterprises and turning them into back to the state, which was um, essentially baked into a lot of headlines that we saw throughout the crisis. Um, they have um, supported the industries by providing financing. And uh, uh, this, contrary to popular belief, Russian sovereignty is very small. In fact, uh, they recently issued um, Debt, and that was the first time and first uh, first time in, in a decade. Russia worked very hard to overcome the um, sovereign debt crisis that they had about ten years ago, and they um, essentially built up to the moment to where they would bring the sovereign issue to market. And and the idea there was not um, to raise money uh, for the country that was in need of the resource of the of the funding. It was more of a to set a benchmark rate for the other Russian corporates, for the Russian corporates to borrow using the spread of that benchmark rate. Um, and, and looking at the Western European credit, uh, sovereign credit crisis at the moment, um, Russia looks favor favorably from that standpoint. All opinions expressed and data provided are subject to change without notice. Some of these opinions may not be appropriate to every investor. BRIC refers to emerging market countries Brazil, Russia, India, and China.